my beautiful friends, I'm Janet. Welcome to my channel where I hope to inspire you to create a home and a life you love. Well, this is week six of my construction journey and I've been documenting a play-by-play -play and a day-by-day -day and a weekly update of what's been going on here on my current renovation project. If you'd like to catch up and see what we did weeks one through five, or even get a tour before I started construction, I'll leave links to those videos below. But this is week six and it was a crazy week as we raced to the finish line to try to get all the outside work done before the weather turned freezing here in the Chicago area. So let's get into week six. Week six starts with day 25 and I have both Mike and V on the job site. I'm here with my boys, Mike and V. What are we doing today? We're taking the day off. <laughs> Mike works on more interior paint prep. He's working on this bedroom. You can see some of his patching behind me. There is a lot of paint prep on this house, both in the exterior, which we've been working on so far, and the interior, which Mike has moved inside to work on more paint prep. Sometimes Mike helps me with other tasks on the job site, and today I have him take off the door stop. So I measure the jam and the stop so I can go get new materials to replace those for the new door frame. He also holds up two mailbox options for me, a bigger one and a smaller one. Which one do you like? Leave a comment below and let me know which one you like. I also bought two lights. He holds the first one up and I know don't even need to open the box on the second one. We're going with the smaller first light fixture. Since we're finishing up all the outside touches, I also found a planter box online that's gonna go on the front porch with the trellis in it. I'm gonna put a lot of seasonal plants in there and it'll look really cute to finish the curb appeal and the look of the front porch. So V is here doing yard work. He's finishing the leveling of the backyard so we can get that done before the ground freezes. And Renee comes by and picks me up so we can go to Lurvie's, pick out some plant material and get the gravel for the sidewalk and the patio. So we get to Lurvie's and of course, Renee is socializing with the people from his homeland. <laughs> And lucky for me, he did because he makes friends with everybody and we ended up getting a great deal on the tree and the shrubs. I wanted to be in the video. Yeah. <laughs> this is the action at Lurvie's. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, see you guys next time. I was debating for a long time which trees did I like and what should I get. Meanwhile, he's talking and socializing. And then I asked him, which one do you like? And he immediately says, that one, the service berry. <laughs> so I trust his design judgment. Always trust your designer. You hire them for a reason because you like their work. You like what they do. So when they say to go with something, trust them and just go with it. So I know it's going to look great. All right, we got to go get the gravel for the patio and the rest of the sidewalk. We went to load the gravel in the truck and get the rest of the materials. Hercules, lift with your legs. Hercules, the legs, lift with the legs. We headed back to the job site. Once there, Renee works his magic, moving all the plants around to the ideal design. And we end up going with what Renee picked out. Not my second guessing, but we went with what Renee laid out for the garden bed design initially. So later that night while I was driving by, I spotted fire trucks in front of the house. I got really nervous and I thought maybe somebody was burning down the house. So I did a beeline over to see what was going on. Luckily, it was not the house. It was actually the church across the street. I guess they had a little cooking incident. It was really a close call and I am glad that it was not this house. Day 26 was supposed to be a day off for everybody, but V accidentally showed up. So I decided I better put him to work. So I had him plant the tree and all the shrubs that Renee had just picked out that we had just delivered to the job site. So V took care of the digging and I joined in a little bit to show him how I wanted all of the raking done. Ms. Janet, what happened to all your workers? The roles are reversed. Now they're my videographer. <laughs> <laughs> well, work smart, not hard. Gotta get this done. I gotta pick up my son. Mother's job is never done. 
While V was here, he also removed all of the chain link out of the front fence where we are gonna be replacing it with a new fence and Renee is gonna later take out the concrete and the posts that still remain. Mike decided to work inside on paint prep in the bedrooms to finish that up. I do a walk around of the whole house looking at all of the progress and all of the work that we have completed to date. So it has been a lot and we're almost done on the outside. The bushes are going in, Renee has the sidewalk done. We have one door left to paint on the outside and the backyard is leveled after the asphalt driveway was removed. The gutters have gone on and the electric service is in, internet is in, the video doorbells are on. Our security system has been installed and turned on. Two of the bedrooms are prepped and ready for paint. And I cannot wait to paint over those graffiti eyeballs. <laughs> Our little squirrel friends, we kicked them out of their home and our soffits when we had to repair them, but they are still around on the property. So happy to see our little squirrel friends. Then we had a lot of end of day cleanup. The job site does get messy and dusty. Time to clean up the job site. Between work days, I go back to Home Depot again to order the appliances on the last day of their sale. So I did a lot of price checking. I checked another uh, place that I usually get appliances and I get the builder discount there, but the Home Depot prices were even better than that. I also checked Best Buy, but again, went back to Home Depot on the last day of the sale. Computer systems were overloaded and we ended up staying there trying to get the appliances paid for and ordered until the store was closed and then the registers didn't work. We got locked into the store overnight. Very interesting in Home Depot after closing at night. So I've been there at 6 a.m. when they open and I've been there past the time they close at night, the point where we literally got locked in. Like they were working on displays in there and things were going up and restocking shelves and all sorts of activity going on. <laughs> so I was glad to get out of there finally because I was very tired, but I was also relieved that our appliances were ordered little update for you everybody is sick so we can't work <laughs> i am just here delivering my homemade bone broth to mike who is sick and even renee has been having headaches so uh we are on pause we are on pause from the work oh there he comes all right everybody's sick so we are not going to be working today inhaling dust but we are trying to select the paint color it's gonna be white, but which white will it be? Day 27, everybody is still sick, but I go to the job site to meet our carpenter Norbert to review the door jam repair job. Okay, so you'd rather take the whole piece out from top to bottom then. What's that? The wood? Yeah. No, no. Cut here. You cut here. And just take this little piece out and put it back. After reviewing that with him, I go to Home Depot to get materials for him and also to pick up some white paint samples. While I'm there, Demetrius was at the paint counter who is 100% hands down, my favorite guy at the paint counter. He's always so helpful. He's always got a smile. He's always listening to good music. And he uses a website called matchmypaintcolor.com, which I'd never heard of, to match some interior paint colors for me. So I ended up coming back with three other interior paint color samples as well. <laughs> this is what we got. This is Hazy, this is Calm right here, and this is Borrow Light. Day 28, everybody's finally feeling a little bit better. So Renee comes and starts working on the brick work that's gonna go around the stoop. The stone is gonna go on the top, but the brick is gonna go around the edges and match the paint color on the brick on the house. Mike works on more interior paint prep. Like I told you before, paint prep, paint prep, paint prep, and more paint prep. Paint prep, 
is the most important part of any paint job, both inside and out. Mike puts up the white interior paint color samples for me and it's pretty obvious immediately that the middle color, Whisper White, is the perfect color for the first floor because I'm going with a white on white color scheme on the first floor. Norbert came back to do the door jam repair and install the stop and the trim on the outside of the door so it can finally be painted before the cold winter sets in in a couple days. So the outside door is finally getting finished. Later on, on day 28, Mike comes to my house to do a few paint touch-ups for me. And while he's there, the alarm goes off at the project. So both of us rush back to see what is going on. We thought somebody broke in. We don't know what happened, but both the cameras and the front door alarm went off. So the police came, did a thorough investigation. Nothing was damaged, taken. There was no evidence of anyone even being here. So it might've been some kind of a false alarm, but more drama on the job site this week. We got fire trucks, we got police and alarms going off and you know, all sorts of craziness happening here. Since all the outside painting was done, I decided to have Mike do a few more paint touch-ups at my house and to do some touch-up at my Airbnb properties. Well, while he was at my house, he thought he clogged the sink while he was washing his paintbrushes. So he took apart the P-trap on the sink to try to fix the clog. And what he didn't know is that there was a bigger sewer problem waiting behind that. Well, the water overflowed and the sewers gushed into my basement. So I had to call the plumber on an emergency call. And for three days, we were rotting my sewers, tracing every line, I was mopping up floors literally for three days straight and I threw my back out to the point where I literally could not move. Had to go to the chiropractor. I was a, it was a complete mess, both for me physically and for the basement floors. Finally, we got it resolved. The plumber worked long and hard and he was very tedious in resolving the problem once and for all. Had some issues earlier in the spring, thought they were resolved, but they were not done as thoroughly as my plumber, Mike, this time did it, and he was exceptional, resolved the problem, but my back did not like it. <laughs> so that slowed us down a little bit on my job site, and then the next day, back to work. After getting my back fixed at the chiropractor, I knew we pretty much only had one more day to get the outside work done before the weather shifted completely and permanently. We've had a lot of starts and stops to the weather working in between on the warmer days and stopping work on either the cold days or the rainy snowy days but this i think was going to be the very last chance to finish all of the outside work and because it was going to get cold and renee needed to work with concrete to get the steps on the stoop i ran to home depot to get uh, sort of like a tent and some tarps to tarp and warm that area where he's working so mike could paint the bricks and renee could do the stonework and when I stopped at the job site, I noticed that there were all of the, the water and lights and all of the lines were marked in the ground, which meant that NICOR had sent Julie over to mark everything and all of the different departments were marking their lines for the gas. So I thought, hmm, NICOR said it was gonna be three weeks until the gas line and meter was installed. So now I'm a little worried because they don't really give us a date. I don't know what's going on. Day 29 was an absolute crazy day. I wake up at 4.30 in the morning to be at the job site by 5.30 so I can set up this tent and the tarps to enclose the front stoop. It had been raining and so we needed to get it dry and then by enclosing it, keeping it warm so all of the bricks would dry for Mike to paint and the stoop would be warm enough for Renee to put the stone down with his mortar mix so that would successfully dry. So while I am there, I think I'm just gonna go home shower, do my makeup, come back and shoot a video. But instead I get a phone call from NICOR's subcontractor that they're literally on their way to install the gas line and meter. Like surprise, they're three weeks early. I'd already planned all my interior crews to start in a month so we could guarantee that the heat would be on, the interior gas and electric would be fixed for the gas, um, for the heat to go on. And so now I basically stopped work for a month after today, but then all of a sudden out of nowhere, 
The contractor shows up to install the gas line, so I am now stalled at the job site. So I quick run to the chiropractor and come back. And then they're there with all of their trucks and equipment, digging a huge hole to put a new gas line from the curb to the house and to install the new meter. Meanwhile, Mike is able to get the bricks painted because we got that area dry for him because everything's been tented in. Renee stops by, checks everything out to make sure he can do his work. He goes, gets the rest of the materials he needs, some stones, mortar, some edging strips. Then Renee comes back. My tech genius came and installed the other video doorbell, but because there was so much going on at both doors, between paint on one door, the stoop being done on the other, we really couldn't do the rest of the things we had planned, like the exterior lights and the mailbox. So those finishing touches will go on our punch list. And Renee worked into the dark again, getting that stone set on the stoop. Everything looks fabulous. So day 29 concludes week six. Wow, did we get a lot done in 29 days. I can't believe the entire exterior is finished. Please stay tuned because in a month we will be starting the interior work. And in the meantime, I'll be uploading some other great videos weekly, including some thrifting and thrift haul videos where I find some treasures that I'm going to use for staging here at the project. So stay tuned for those videos. Also, I want to give a special thank you to all of my crews who worked so, so hard get the exterior done before the weather shifted. So thank you, Mike, Renee, V. You all worked long and hard into the night. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And Norbert, our carpenter, the gutter guys, all the utility guys who got the utilities on for us and everybody else who was involved. Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you so much for joining me today on week six of the construction journey and for following along as I flip this house. If you like this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, do all those other fun things below. And until next time, ciao for now.